Hello, my YouTube family. Welcome back to Melda242. I am Romelda, and today I am preparing for my family baked macaroni and cheese. Let's do it. Okay, I have a half pot of boiling water, and to that I'm adding the macaroni pasta. Just one box. Just so that they can cook nice and soft. Of course, the temperature is on medium. So I'm just giving it a stir to avoid the pasta from sticking to the bottom of the pot. Okay, it's really rolling now. Okay. Now, I don't think you'd want to boil this with the, allow this to boil with the top on the pot because you're gonna have a mess. So, just watch it. Okay. To that, I'm just adding the garlic, onion, green bell pepper, and the celery, just so that they can cook along with the pasta. The pasta is almost finished, not quite, because they're still somewhat firm. Want them soft. When I when they are really cooked, the shape is gonna really change. So, just watch it. water is just drying out nicely. Still more in there. And I said the stove is on medium. Okay. Now I'm going to season the pasta with the red pepper flakes. If you don't want this, you can also use the black pepper or any other pepper of your choice. Some total seasoning. My recipes are just a guide. Now, whatever you don't want, don't add it in. Whatever you want more of, feel free. It's your fault. I always tell you, add, multiply, subtract or divide to my recipes. Feel free. It's your fault. Just tasting it first to see that, to see if I need more. And of course I do. So, I'm just using the total seasoning instead of using salt because that has salt in it already. Now I'm adding this, these three little pieces of butter. Okay. I don't need, I don't want more than that in my macaroni and cheese. If you want more than that, feel free. But this is what I want. Okay, keep the pasta moving. Avoid clumping up. You don't want them to be clumped together then because it's gonna be a problem, so. Just keep it rolling, keep it moving. Because trust me, they will stick together. Okay. Now if you want a stiff macaroni, you leave less water in the pot. If you want it soft and you know, try to leave more water. So I'm just covering it down and allowing it to soften up some. The stove is on low while I work on this cheese. Okay, this is this is about two and a half pounds of cheddar. Now if you want to use another type of cheese, feel free. But this is what I have and this is what I'm going to use. Okay, just giving it a little rinse because I don't want whatever's on the outside go on the inside of the cheese. Nope. Rinse it off and just pat it dry. Okay. Everybody's touching and you know, in the food store so. This is sufficient cheese. So one box of macaroni for me. If you want more, feel free. You can also add different cheeses together. This is what I want and this is what I'm using today. Okay. Remember, there are several recipes for the Bahamian macaroni and cheese. This is just one. Each island of the Bahamas, they make their own, they have their own version. So. Who you to say this is not the Bahamian macaroni and cheese because I'm only using one type of cheese. Oh no, this is what I want. So, I'm gonna need help with this because by the time my arms are ready, giving way. Let me see how far I can go. And then I just ask my hubby to help me. Okay. While he's working with that, I'll just mix this egg and get the rest of the stuff, the stuff for the ingredients rolling in the pot. Adding okay about a half of this 
thinner of evaporated milk. Now if you don't have any evaporated milk, feel free to use the milk out of the refrigerator. This is what you have. Don't hurt your head. Add the egg and milk mixture into the pot of pasta. So in this pot I have the pasta, onion, celery, bell pepper, garlic, a little piece of butter and now the eggs and the evaporated milk. Black pepper, sorry, oh, red pepper flakes, total seasoning. That's what I have, no black pepper. Girl, don't use black pepper. Stomach can't take it. Nope, nope, nope. Real pepper flakes, just a little bit of that for me. Now here I want you to take note of the, the shape of the pasta. Look at the shape of the pasta. They are cooked. Okay. There you have it. It's cooked. Waiting on the cheese. The stove is off now. Okay. So, it's waiting on the cheese. Waiting and waiting patiently. Oh my word. Just adding a little bit more milk. Yes, but keep it moving. It's nice and creamy. Okay, the cheese is here. It's ready. That's two and a half pounds of cheese. That's enough. At least for me. Now, I only added a little piece, three little pieces of butter. If you want more than that in your macaroni and cheese, feel free to do so. But I don't need all of that piece in mine. This cheese has enough in it for me. And I know what I can take. I don't want all of that piece in my macaroni today. Okay, so work your macaroni. If you want more than that, work it. If you want to use five types of cheese, you work it. It'll be, oh, delicious. Whatever type of cheese you want and you have, use it. So that's a half of the cheese. Now I'm going to use the next, about a quarter more and leave the other quarter for the top of the macaroni. You don't want to use all of the cheese at the top. And nothing inside the macaroni mixture. Nope. Work the cheese. Work with what you have. Get it all mixed up. Use some more. Okay, start it to melt. So it's sticking together. I guess I'll cut them. I just break it apart. It's working. Okay, my stove is clean. I'm always wiping. This is for me, so come on. The rest is gonna talk. Oh my, this is gonna be good. Like I said, if you want a stiff macaroni, not so soft, just make sure there's no liquid in it or less liquid. And if you want it firm, you want it, you want it soft. You use, you have, you just leave some more liquid. Just leave liquid in it, okay? Stiff, less liquid, less stiff, more liquid. Okay, now I'm just, just spreading it out in this pan. Now I'm using this pan because I don't want a thick macaroni and cheese. Because we have a lot of other stuff going on. This is just a side. This is also a part of our national dish. Big macaroni and cheese, peas and rice, steamed chicken, the works, potato salad. All of that, but I don't have any potato salad tonight. I don't have any steamed chicken. I have baked chicken. I have turkey. I have peas and rice. I have, I just have it. Now it's time to just the top with some of the cheese. Okay, so baked macaroni and cheese is a part of the Bahamas' staple dish. One of the main side or side dish, dishes of our main dish. is a side dish of our main dish, if that makes sense. Okay, great macaroni and cheese. This is my take on it right here. Adding a bit of the cheese to the top. Didn't add all inside, didn't put all inside and I'm not adding all at the top. Just a bit, a little bit. 
flower nice and cheesy at the top and there's nothing inside. I'm just going to use a little bit of this paprika and the parsley flake at the top before adding it to the oven. The oven is already preheated at 350 degrees and I'm going to add this to the middle rack for about 15-20 minutes or until the sides are golden. Okay, there you have it. There you have it. That's Bahamian baked macaroni and cheese. Thank you very much for watching this video all the way to the end. If you have enjoyed it, please give me a, a thumbs up. Share it out. Leave a comment. God bless you. And I will. I will see you in the next one.